Replit just announced their new Agent 3, and in this video, we're going to decide for ourselves if this is the full self-driving moment of software. First off, what do they mean by that? Well, now Replit Agent is 10 times more autonomous. It can actually code for you for over three hours, and because an agent coding on its own for that long would probably end up breaking things, they're also releasing automated testing. Agent 3 will periodically test its code using its own browser and then fix the issues it finds while it's coding. Finally, Agent 3 can also generate agents for you, which is just crazy, agents creating agents. Automations you might have previously built in Zapier, for example, and they can be connected to Slack and Telegram to perform tasks. In this video, I'm going to take you through how easy it is to build a real app inside Replit using these new features. It's actually amazing how much this new agent can do without actually requiring any input from me. If you don't know me, I'm Joseph. I find the coolest new AI tools and make videos about how you can use them to be more productive and build businesses. Replit did agree to sponsor this one for their new release, so click the link below to try the new update and support this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. Okay, so if this is your first time using Replit, when you log in, this is what you're going to see. I have a few apps that I've previously built here, so you won't have those here but everything else will be the same. If you watched my last video on Replit, a few things have definitely changed. So we're going to build an AI powered app with Replit today. So if you are following along, you wanna make sure you go to your settings and go to account secrets and make sure you add your open AI API key here. That'll allow you to build the same thing that I'm building. I've already written a prompt that we're gonna use ahead of time. So I'm gonna paste that in and it's going to be an AI powered landing page generator. So this would be a link you can share to a product if you've built something, maybe a course, an info product, you can connect it to this landing page and then sell it. But the cool part is that we're gonna use ChatGPT to actually generate the landing page copy and everything you would need. One of the cool features about Replit is they have this theme selector here. So right now it's set to auto theme, but you can actually choose some of the other ones that they have preset or you can go to manage themes here and actually design your own. So you could easily change the font. I prefer Geist for sure. So we could go with Geist for our app. And Geist also has a really cool monospace font. This is a good place to start. So I'm gonna click publish to theme library. We'll call it test theme and save it. Now, when we go to theme here, we can select our new theme. Another feature is this improve prompt button here. So if we click on that, it will analyze our prompt and make some changes to it so that it's better for Replit. And now it's got a much more built out prompt and I'm just gonna trust that it's good. And we're gonna click start chat. So now it's going to start creating the app. First, we're going to go through a planning process. So the, the agent is thinking right now, it's taking a look at our prompt. Throughout this video, we're going to be waiting on the agent to do a lot of work. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut through all of those moments just to save you guys time. Okay, so it's now laid out our plan here and it all looks pretty good to me. If you wanted to, you could change the plan a bit, but we're just gonna let it roll. So we got the choice to build the entire app or start with a design. I'm going to choose build the entire app. We'll see how long it takes for the agent to actually build this MVP. Remember for more complex apps, it can now run for up to three hours. So I'm gonna click start building here and it's going to begin building our app. While we're waiting for it to work, I want to show you guys some of the new toggles here. So if you click on this button here, you have a few options. So this is the new app testing feature, which I mentioned earlier, and that's toggled on. You can also turn on max autonomy, which if you have a larger app, this is going to allow it to work better. And then of course, high power model is here. If you want Replit to be even smarter and you're willing to spend the money, you can turn that on and you're going to get even better results. While I was talking, our landing page generator started to actually appear here for us. So you can see this looks like a pretty standard website. It's done a nice blur effect on the header and there's a few little issues, but the agent is still working through all of it. So it hasn't even really begun to open the browser and test what it's created yet. It's still fixing some obvious issues and going through the initial build process for this app. Because why not? I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Max Autonomy. We'll see how that goes. It says, is the app working now? Can you see the homepage? 
Yes, I can see the home page and everything is starting to look very good. Okay, so it is opening up a browser here. You can see it just did it. And it's this is the new Agent 3 feature. It's going into the browser here and actually testing what it is built. If I click maximize here, I can actually see it. So it's, it tested the generation and it failed and it's getting that data live. So this is so cool. It's literally doing the work for us. I've spent so many hours going back and forth, vibe coding, trying to get it to understand what's broken. And now it's just going out and doing it itself. But the browser testing is done now and it's going and actually fixing the issues. And so it's done that. And now it's repeating this process of testing what it's built. So here we go again. Okay, so it's testing still and it looks like it successfully generated a landing page for the first time. We don't know what it looks like yet, but you can see it went through the process and it created a link for the landing page. Compared to how this process used to be, it just did so much building this app without any additional input from me. I'm just hanging out here watching it build. It's actually incredible. So let's go ahead and test it. I'm gonna go. Now let's click on generate landing page and see what happens. It's generated a preview of the landing page. So now let's go ahead and copy the link and let's see if we can open it. Okay, so it's generated a little landing page here for us. It didn't include the images, but it is a good start. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I just generated a landing page for the first time, but there are some issues that we need to fix. In the landing page creation form, the style buttons are not able to be clicked on. And then the hero image that I upload is not being used on the landing page. Okay, so now I'm gonna let it get to work on those things. So it's been doing some more work and it's cleaned up a few things. Now we can click on the style buttons appropriately. The form upload button looks a lot better. We can add files here. Before we test it again, I also wanna show you guys. So it's so easy. If you decide you don't like the theme of what you're building, you can just click on theme here and you can customize it or you can just quickly switch to one of the presets. So just like that, it's a whole new style, right? So now we've got this other nomad theme and I think I like that one better. So we're just gonna leave it like that. I think it looks really good, especially now with the centered form. So let's go ahead and try it again. Now we can upload hero images, which is good. Let's add a testimonial. So that looks good. Everything seems to be working so far. Let's click generate. Oh, we didn't include the actual. That's something that you can change if you want, but there we go. Okay. So we got a generation failed this time. I tried to generate a landing page and it said generation failed. It didn't even start to create the landing page for us. If we click on this wrench right here, we can open up the dev tools and we can see the uh, error here. And so can the agent. We don't even need to do that, but that's one of the things you can do here. You can also open up the file sidebar. If you do understand what you're looking at, you can click here and see all of the code that's being written and edit it here if you like. But that's one of the great parts of Replit. You don't even have to look at it. So we can close that back. Looks like it's found the issue. It looks like there was some size limits for images. So it's adjusting those to accommodate bigger images. And now it's restarting for us. Now we have the image, which is great. AI generated sales copy for us. Did the testimonial field. So it's working, that's pretty awesome. So we saw some of the big new features. They've also rolled out agents and automations, and this is going to allow you to do different kinds of Zapier-like processes, workflows that don't necessarily have an app interf UI interface. These are things that you just want done, and you can 
interact with them through Slack or Telegram or time-based. Let's go ahead and do a time-based one. So I could say, create an agent that emails me an update on the stock market every Monday. And we can click start chat. It's already given a name and calling it market mailer. <laughs> okay, so it's created the plan. So let's go ahead and build it. So you can see things look a little bit different here. Uh, it's doing, instead of an app, it's building an automation. It says powered by Mastra here, which must be a partner of Replit. Okay, so we just added the OpenAI integration. Didn't expect this to need that, but there we go. It's figuring it out for me. Now it's restarting the application. So now it's asking for a user email value. Let me just put in my email and save that. And now it says it has everything it needs to build the agent. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so it just ran on its own for the past 15 minutes building out this automation. It's just a simple one, it's one step here. Of course, if we had several more steps, we would see a longer list in this workflow here. So now that it's ready, let's go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna click test automation and it's gonna run here for us. So I ran the test and it didn't actually send the email according to this, it said, it's funny, it says this is the issue the architect warned about relying on the AI agent to call both tools isn't guaranteed. So now it's making some changes to fix things. Okay, so here is the email I just received. So this looks great and I can customize this, of course, using the agent, but it actually worked. So now if I had this automation running, if I published it, it would send me this email every Monday with this actual live data, which is really awesome, guys. I mean, that's pretty cool. Still cleaning up some issues here, but you guys get the point. You can create workflows. If I wanted to do this in Zapier, obviously I could have already. I, can, I could have done this a bunch of different ways, but the point is all I did was write, create an agent that emails me an update on the stock market every day. That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. And then it worked for 15 minutes and it created it for us, which is crazy. You don't have to know anything about how to build automations. Okay, so now it's 100% done, making all the updates and it just sent me this email and we can see it's given a actual market summary this time and real data. All right, guys, I hope you can see how powerful this tool is. I was super impressed. It definitely feels close to full self-driving for app building. I know many developers are still very critical of the whole vibe coding evolution, but coming from someone who's been building things on the internet for over a decade now, but doing it with zero technical experience, this is an absolute miracle. Developers have a really high bar, but this is a total game changer for entrepreneurs, creatives, designers, etc. Anyone that has had an idea, but was limited by their technical inability. Now they can build anything and it's just amazing. Try Replit using the link below. Thanks for watching. Check out this next video and if you watch it, you'll probably see me in that one too. <laughs>